Well, hello there, everybody. My name is Python, and welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft Season 6. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. We're on the 15th episode, my friends, and today we have some awesome things lined up. So first of all, I think a little bit of a trip through the shops to see if we have any profits going on. Uh, I apologize for the slight delay since the last episode. Uh, my, my sleep schedule has actually been kind of messed up lately, and I've only just sort of kind of got it back into rhythm. So, uh, yeah... My, my, my work schedule kind of took a bit of a hit. So, yeah, my bad, guys. My bad. But anyways, guys, let's check out the sugar box shop. We have ourselves nothing for the dyed sugar boxes. Pretty interesting. But what about the regular sugar boxes? Let's go check them out. So, we got nothing in there. Uh, wow. Okay. Hey. Look at that. People have been utilizing the two for eight diamonds deals, which is fantastic. So that's 40 diamonds right there. Let's check out the third chest. Oh my goodness me. Yep. There we go, my friends. A grand total of 80 diamonds. Now, obviously, before we put in our flash stock, the ender chests here, five diamonds a pop. And did we get any? Oh my God, they all sold. No way. <laughs> wow. Holy moly. Okay. It looks like ender chests might be a pretty fruitful endeavor. So if we ever get ourselves a blaze farm set up and we just go ahead and mine out one of the obsidian towers in the end, perhaps, then uh, we could make an absolute mint off of these things. But for now, my friends, sadly, the flash stock has ended for the ender chest. So we are going to take it down for now. Uh, sadly, no one bought the display model. Maybe I should have put up a sign saying that the, dis uh, that the display model was also up for sale. But uh, yeah, I mean, that's pretty awesome. I mean, for now, we'll put it away in our valuables chest and yeah guys everything is good we'll have like a little flash stock area down here yeah that looks pretty cool oh yeah okay so uh, let's go put these bad boys in our ender chest let's see what we're looking like now Oh my god, just over six stacks of uh, diamonds, which is absolutely insane. I'm very happy with that. Right, uh, so aside from that, we have some other things to do. Uh, but before we do that, I want to go and check out the flower pot shop. Let's see if we've got anything going on in here. A lot of you guys have been saying, oh, hey, Python, you never check out your flower pot shop. Go ahead and check it, dude. You might have something. Uh, no, no. People, people don't want flowers, man. I don't know what the heck to tell you, man. I don't know what's going on. People don't want to buy flowers. It's so weird. Oh, man. I don't know why people don't want to buy flower pots. Flower pots are like the greatest thing since sliced bread, guys. Jeez, dude. All right, let's check out this one. What do we get? Oh, my God. People have actually bought some. Well, holy moly. Right, so as you guys know, we've got a bit of a 50-50 deal going on with Azuma Void, but... Since I feel like Azuma Void did the majority of the work setting up the flower farm, I think that it is only right that we give him the two diamonds and we keep the one diamond for ourselves. So let's put that in there. And uh, these two are for Izuma. But I think I need to set up a collab with Azuma so we can come up with some sort of strategy to try and get more of these flowers sold. Maybe we need to amend the prices. Maybe we need to do a little bit of rigorous advertising, like going to people's bases and shoving flowers down their throat. Uh, well, actually, no, that's not that's not quite what I meant. But you guys get what I mean. Like we put a book in there or something. <laughs> Uh, I mean, yeah, we could be forceful with the advertising. Hey, if you don't buy flower pots and flowers, we will come to your house and we will prank you. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, we could have such fun. But yeah, we need to we need to hook up with a zoomer and see what's going on. Oh my goodness me, dudes! There's new shops in the shopping district. I've been away four days, guys, and there's already new shops. What the heck is all this? Oh my word! Uh, so this, I believe, is Scar's shop. I remember watching this from the recap, which, you know, a bit of a plug. If you guys haven't checked out the Hermitcraft recap already, highly advise you do so. It's something that I watch myself to catch up with what all the Hermits are doing. And as a result, I know that this is Scar's shop, and I do believe that he's selling redstone components. Yeah, look at that. Coming soon. Redstone repeaters. Yeah, I like that, man. So I kind of cornered the market on redstone components in Season 4, but it's it's nice. It's nice that people are taking over. That's amazing. That's really, really cool. Okay, so that's one less thing for me to do. Right, but anyways, I wanted to buy some firework rockets because, um, yeah, I don't have any. Uh, so, tech to the skies. We are looking for some rockets. Should we check on his shulker boxes? <gasps> he sold them all. Oh, my word. Okay, right. So, uh, oh, there's green. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
uh, I believe it's still uh, one diamond for two stacks, right? Yeah, okay, cool stuff. Right, so we have a good supply of rockets now. And also, wait, do we, is there an ender chest in here? Yes, there is. Uh, I kind of want to check out Grian's new shop, the, uh, the Jar of Pickles. I don't know what the heck is going on up here. But I think he's got like a green minion on his head or something. That's hilarious. <laughs> is that a pickle pickle minion? Oh wait, no. Or is it pickle rick? Hmm. I'm trying to figure out if it's pickle rick or some sort of pickle minion. That's that's absolutely hilarious. Welcome to Inner Pickle, a pickle shopping experience. Ah, oh, jeez, dude. Okay, uh, wait, what? Concerning deaths in your shop and some animal rights issues? What the heck is going on? Hey, guys, I turned myself into a pickle. Jump on in. Oh, yeah, you better believe we're going to be going in. All right, so here we go. Oh, 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 I thought lag was about to screw me over there, my friends. <laughs> All right, we're good. Well, at least someone's put in a freaking... Well, I don't know if this was green, but uh, someone put in a pool at the bottom so we don't die on our way in. So that's always good. Well, you seem to be in a bit of a pickle. Oh, gosh. Right, it's going to be one of these shops, huh? Head on up to the shop. It's a pretty big dill. <sighs> yep, dill pickles. Yep, okay. Ugh. I'm trying my best not to, like, uh, slap myself in the face at how, how freaking... Oh, these puns are good, but gosh freaking done. They're like freaking dad jokes, man. I'm afraid the owner of that establishment is indisposed. Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what the heck is going on, man? All right. Uh, pickle up as many pickle... Oh, for goodness sake. One diamond equals two stacks of pickles. Hey, he's got an ender chest in there as well. Fantastic. All right. Buy more pickles. It's a pretty sweet dill. Uh, what's up here? Never a dill moment in this shop. Oh, my word. All right, should we have a look? Hey, he's selling them. Okay, cool. Okay, I'm going to buy some because these are going to be pretty darn useful for our little underground base, right? Our underwater base. Uh, so it looks like he's got multiple chests of them as well. Ew. Do we really need more than four stacks, though? I mean, pff, pff. you know, sometimes you got to just do a bit of a, oh, hey, just in case kind of deal, right? Uh, so, apparently, he hasn't put in any kind of exit to this place yet. Um, this could be an issue. Although, I don't know, maybe he has put one in now? I don't know, but, yeah. We, we are inside this place. I mean, we could go down here, I guess? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we could go down here. Maybe there's like a way out, like a back entrance or something. Uh, right. Or, we could do the ye olde method. Oh god, if this doesn't work, we could probably die. Ah, yes! Oh no! Oh no, hang on a minute, we made it. We sort of kind of made it. Alright, let's do that again. Oh, yeah! Oh, I'm a genius. <laughs> you thought you could trap me. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. You ain't trapping me, Green. <laughs> Fantastic. What a great shop. I actually really like that. But I really love whatever the heck's going on up there. It has to be Pickle Rick. It has to be. With the puns that you get as you go in, it simply has to be Pickle Rick. Oh, fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> All right, guys. So I believe this is going to be a Zuma Void's base. He decided to set up in modern. Uh, the question is... Oh, there he is. He's down here. Hello. Hey. Oh, he's AFK. Oh, fair enough. Okay. Right, I'll tell you what. I, what what I'll do is I'm going to put down the diamonds and the chest right here. So as soon as he get, comes back from his AFK session, he'll know exactly what's going on. Hey, looking good. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and put them in there. I mean, it's only two diamonds. It's not the greatest amount in the world, but that's why I'm saying, oh, hey, we should probably go ahead and uh, do a little bit of advertising or some sort of strategic shop management work of epicness, right? So, yeah, we definitely need to do something. We need to do something. We need to get those flower pots flying off the shelves, guys. We really, really do. But in the meantime, my friends, I think it's about time that we stopped, you know, messing around and we started actually getting into something for today's episode, guys. <laughs>
All right, guys. So I think in today's episode, what I'd really like to do is actually go ahead and uh, take down the Wither. Now, I did see Impulse SV take down the Wither in a rather interesting fashion in that he used the underside of the Bedrock uh, End Return Portal in the end to summon the Wither and then just have him trapped, right? So I thought that was a really, really cool idea. So we're going to try and do the same thing. And my idea is what we do is you remember in my aqua base we have that central tube going up because there are no uh you know there's no solid blocks in there you know glass is not classed as a solid block we could technically speaking have the beacon beam protrude throughout the top of the tube right that could be a really really cool idea so uh oh i need to remember there is another fortress around here but i can't remember where the darn thing is aha so there we go my friends like i say you just follow this road here hey python uh hey just recording at the moment buddy uh i am looking for wither skellies more than anything uh there is a chest at my kelp farm yes there is Yes, there is. Hey! Hey, buddy. Right, here we go, my friends. This is the first ever Wither Skeleton I'm taking down today, or in this season. So, what do you guys think? Ah, oh, there's me thinking we get a skull for my first ever Skelly. Uh, just randomly found. Yeah. <laughs> uh, cool. All right. Oh, wait, there's another one. Boom! Boom! Skull, please! Oh, no skull. Gosh, freaking darn. But anyways, we're looking, you guys. Uh... This might take a while, though, guys. This might take a while. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's just keep going. We'll uh, we'll cut back once we get each skull, I guess. Hey! With a skeleton head number one. All right. Oh, jeez. Hello. Uh, get wrecked. Get wrecked. Oh God, there's another one. Oof. Oh! Oh! I thought lag was about to kill me again, guys. Oh, my gosh. Whew. Okay. Well, guys, check it out. The good news is I found a really, really excellent place to set up a wither skeleton farm. Look at how many spawning spaces there are around here. Now, obviously, there's a bunch of science behind it. You know, the whole idea behind, you know, the structure of bounding boxes and all that kind of stuff. But... Basically, this area here with the three areas, this, these three lanes here, you could combine them all together and have a huge, massive with a skeleton killing area. Like, it could be fantastic. Will you stop? Go away. Uh, oh, God, there's two of them. Oh, no, there's actually... Wait, is there three of them? Hang on a minute. Okay, that guy's dead. And you also need to die, sir. Mom, thing, person, man, squeedy, weird thing. Go, get out of it. Right, okay, cool. wrecked your freaking oh gosh blazes everywhere oh my gosh blazes plus freaking wither skellies uh let's jump on this there we go hello you want to come down go on i'll wreck your face go go get destroyed oh my god what <laughs> second wither skelly on camera uh skull that is <gasps> oh i thought it was about to fall down there i just freaked out come on Mr. Blaze, you need to go away. There we go. This lag is actually going to make me pull my hair out. For goodness sake. Oh. God, I can't wait for 1.13.1. Apparently, it fixes a whole bunch of various other lag things. Please, for the love of God, tell me that all of my stuff is here and none of it fell into the lava. Because if it did, then I'm going to lose it. <laughs> All right, what have we got? So, how many elytra? My proper elytra, that is. Uh, where is... Okay, so there's the rest of the armor. And I think I've got everything. I think so. I think I'm all good, guys. <laughs> hey, guys, check this guy out. A ghast spawned underneath the nether fortress, and it kind of looks like he's got a hairdo. <laughs> oh, that is so weird. I want to get over there. I want to see if I can get a ghast head, or any head, really. I'd love to get at least one head. Like, I mean, obviously, we've got the Wither Skeleton Schools, but I want to get, like, a Blaze head and a Ghast head and all sorts of other things. I mean, I think it goes without saying. Ah! If we had looting, uh, yeah, we'd probably be in for a better time. But sadly, we didn't get one. So, yeah. Sorry, hairdo Ghast. I had to kill you. Had to do it to you, man. Sorry. Drop shot! Boom! <laughs> 
Get wrecked, please! You ain't taking me down today, sir. Right, who's shooting me? Who shoot? You shoot. Get out of him. Boom. Oh, okay, I didn't mean to do that. Go on. Get wrecked. God. God, jeez, hell. What are you doing? Get wrecked. Yeah. That's how we roll. That's how we roll. Awesome. Oh, a gas tier. I gotta get it. Gotta get it. Oh, don't die. Don't die. Come on, Python. Don't die. Not thou. Oh, you're doing so well. You're doing so well. All right. And yep, there we go. That's all I want. Right. Can I get out of here? Huh. Oh, yep. Yeah. My elytra didn't fail for once. Good. Good. Yeah. Number three has been obtained, ladies and gentlemen. Good lord, that actually took a lot longer than I first thought it would. I thought, like, half an hour maximum, but honestly, it took a fair while, guys. It took a fair while. I just came to the realization as well that I'm pretty sure in the more mob heads... Yeah! In the... Oh, I thought I was about to get him. Ah! Oh my god. Okay, well, that is my note to get the heck out of here. Well, guys, I tell you what, we didn't do too bad in terms of farming out various nether bits. We've got 60 blaze rods. We've got over three stacks of bones. We've got a whole bunch of coal here. Yeah, not bad, guys. Not bad. I'm pretty happy with this. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and get myself all prepped up. And we are going to go into the end. And we're going to see if there's, like, a platform where you can spawn the wither and just kick its butt immediately. So, yeah, let's get that done, shall we? Alrighty guys, here we are at the stronghold. All we gotta do is go through and what I'm hoping is the impulse left behind like the obsidian platform. So as per season five, you kind of make use of a bit of an exploit, right? You have a three by three area of flat bedrock. The wither gets stuck in it and then uh, yeah, you basically go from there. Oh, this looks promising. Okay, so here we go. So all you gotta do is come down here and oh, they've already put in some soul sand. Huh. So, mm, I feel like I should put down some obsidian. Like, mm, mm. yeah, the season five easy with a killing chamber thing involved like a bit of a platform of obsidian. So it didn't just blow up. So, yeah, I'm going to replicate that. And what will hopefully happen is the obsidian won't blow up. The wither will remain trapped in the bedrock and we could just absolutely bamboozle it, basically. That's the plan. That is the plan. So, uh, let's get down here. I mean, yeah, there's an iron block there. We need to quickly replace it. So, boom, 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 boom. Obsidianize it. And if this doesn't work, guys, then I have just unleashed hell upon the server. And we could be in a serious amount of bother. Okay. Wait. Ooh. Ooh. Hang on a minute. Oh, the, the hammer's all going to get absolutely ear blasted any second now. <laughs> Go on. Oh. He's killing himself. Oh. Well, uh, yep. This is very loud, guys. But because I've got a smite four sword, I can take him down pretty much instantly. Get wrecked. Oh my god, i got a wither skeleton skull from it. Not a wither skeleton skull, just a wither skull. Hey! <laughs> ah, oh, you gotta love it, man. You gotta love it, dude. <laughs> oh, dude, that's fantastic. Right, I'll put the iron block back down there. Um, I'll put it, like, underneath or something. So if Impulse wants the iron block back, he can just uh, go grab it if he so wishes. Alrighty, guys. So here we go. We're back at base now at long freaking last. And ladies and gentlemen, here we go. The beacon. Oh, yeah, baby. Right, now, all we need to do is we need to go to the very bottom of the world, way, way underneath this glass tube here. Uh, it would probably be a good idea if I got the coords of it, actually. Then I could do it exactly, right? So... This is the coordinate, so negative 321, negative 1047. Might as well screen it, and then, yeah, we're going to go to the bottom of the world and get the beacon placed in, guys. We're going to have ourselves... Ooh, what should we go for? Movement speed? Do we go for movement speed? I don't know, man. Oh, no! Guys, I'm not entirely sure if beacon beams can go through soul sand. Soul sand isn't technically a full block. Like, if you go onto it... Oh, God, it sends you down slightly. Oh, God, well, I'm now in the tube. Oh, my goodness me. Uh, guy... Oh, hello. <laughs> Hi, how you doing there? <laughs> how are you guys? Moment of truth! Does it still go through? No! <sighs> okay, well, uh, there goes that plan, ladies and gentlemen. 
Um, I mean, it's not the end of the world. It really, really isn't. If I was to go back onto the Hermitcraft server and show you guys real quick, we could potentially go for like a four beacon setup, like have one in each corner around the central tube. Like that might work. Although then again, it really might not actually. Uh, in which case, maybe the other plan could be to very simply have them come out of these here domes, right? That could work. That could actually work. Huh. All right, well, uh, maybe this first one here, uh, we need to put out like a trapdoor or something. We put down a trapdoor, and then we can have like, we can have one of the beacons coming through here, right? Yeah, sounds like a plan. All right, guys, let's do that. Alrighty, guys, we're in the process of digging out the beacon area now. Now, like I say, this is going to be tier two, so we need to go out just a tiny bit more. Uh, and as a result of doing this, we'll have ourselves our first ever beacon effect, which I've got to say, I'm super happy about. It's about freaking time, eh? So, I can't believe I'm using diamond blocks. Like, there is nothing more bling bling than using diamond blocks for your beacon. I mean, come on, man. you got to be serious, right? Come on, dude. So, let's get you placed in there. Uh, sadly, we can't get anything just yet, but uh, we need to go ahead. I believe the only thing that's blocking it is actually going to be the sea lantern in the ceiling. So, if I replace that with the corresponding colored glass, so in this case, it'll be yellow, then, yeah, the beacon beam should be able to uh, go through, and then we should get the effect, right? So, do I have any... Oh, I think I used the yellow glass, didn't I? Uh, well, the good news is I could just make some more, so that's totally fine. Right, uh, yellow stained glass. Thank you. Thank you, kind sir. Right, so, can I even make that? All right, here we go. Oh, jeez, man. What the? What did I just do? Oh, oh, I thought I placed it in, but apparently I didn't. Oh, well, good job, Python. You've now flooded your base like a noob. Oh, jeez, dude. Right, well, uh, let's get you placed in there. Let's get you placed in there. And there we go. All fixed. All fixed and good to go. Fantastic. Right, well, there we go, my friends. Uh, I think it'd be a nice idea if we made it yellow, right? So maybe we do that. It turns it yellow. And then, yeah, look at that. Oh, that looks good, doesn't it? I like that. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Well, then again, maybe we could just put yellow down there instead. I mean, uh, do I really care about being able to see down there? Ah, I'm not entirely sure. I don't think I do, to be honest. So, yeah, not bad. Not bad, guys. We have gone ahead. We've got ourselves a beacon, and all is looking well. So, ladies and gentlemen... Oh, I forgot to activate the effect, though. Oh, Python, you dumbo. Well, it might help if I did that, wouldn't it? Yes, then I might actually get the things that I'm looking for. Ugh, jeez, man. I tell you, man, my, my memory is, like, so poor. It really, really is. So, let's get down here. What can we get on Tier 2? Uh, jump boost resistance is pretty good. Uh, speed, haste. I mean, to be honest, I'm thinking just flat out speed. I mean, speed is always nice. There we go. Yeah, speed one. I mean, obviously, we can get speed two if we get a tier four beacon, but that's going to take quite a lot of more sales, huh? <laughs> if we want a tier four diamond beacon, that'd be absolutely insane. That really would. So, uh, there we go. And we can just get out by doing that. And then you can do that. And... Yeah, and then we place the yellow glass back in. Boop. There we go. That goes yellow. Right? That goes yellow. Yeah! And there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, on that note, time to end this episode. It's been a long one for me. So, guys, if you have enjoyed today's episode, a like rating would be very much appreciated. Hit the subscribe button. Ding that bell as well if you don't want to miss out on future content, folks. But that's going to wrap it up for me today. This is Wither Python, your overlord speaking. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day. I'll see you guys in the next one.